What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we finally put an end to a Chapter 4. And in this episode, rather than jump right into the next chapter, I actually have something different in store for you guys in this episode. But first things first, we're going to head on in here because... Looks like our brother's in here, and man, you are an awesome-looking Buzzy Beetle. Look at that wrench sticking out of his shell. Well, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty nuts, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Absolutely. Let's do it, Luigi. I want to hear about all your adventures in Circuit Break Island. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we were we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they hold uh, cart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the awards ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there on the trophy they gave to the winner, it was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then, uh, then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in kart races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that would send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway, and my race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the Big Green 01. I took my position at the start line. The light went green. I stopped the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse! The Big Green 01. One went rocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-scream. In one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other carts crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off of my off of my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and it pointed me toward Jazafras Town in the east. Then I heard that voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess. Random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me. Princess Eclair! Oh... Uh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat and came back here to Rogueport, and that's what's been up with me. So, uh, what's up with your friend, then? Yeah, I'm Torque, and don't for a second think this dude telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And then what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it, idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. All right, so that's another follow-up with Luigi. So here, I have a... I have something different in store for this episode. Something that I honestly didn't know how to do, but considering we just finished Chapter 4, I believe it has only very recently become available. So we're going to actually head back to the Trouble Center. We're going to take a look at this bulletin board again. And we want... That is not the one I wanted to do. No, I want to do this one right here. Elusive badge. I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. Uh, I actually want to do that. Uh, sure, let's do it. Do it and do it right. Okay, so how do we get over there is the question. To Zesty's house. It's got to be an easy way to do it. I'm sp I suppose we can just fiddle around in this area and figure it out. It's probably not something to do with the shop, right? Well, I mean, let's go see. Um, okay, so there's the shop. I don't think there's an upstairs. Okay, maybe, maybe it's over this way? Let's go over here. See if we can figure this out. I actually have no idea how to get up here, but I am going to, I am certainly going to try. Hold on a second. Okay, nope, I had the wrong idea. You need to go into the inn. Duh, I forgot that that actually has an upstairs to it, and that's where you actually do your sleeping. So, no, we want to go up this way, and I believe... I want to go through here. There we go. And then there is... The, I want to actually know what's in here. This is like a better item shop. Oh, well, hello. A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? Um, Can I sell bad? I can sell badges? I didn't even know this was in the game. What? Seriously? Oh, my God. Well, what do you have? Unsimplifier. Makes action commands hard, but earn more star power. Uh, to deliver damage that pierces enemies' defenses. That could be nice. Super appeal. Get more star power when Mario peels. Shrink stomp. Uh, that is actually a very nice ability. And power rush. Increases Mario power by two when Mario is in danger. Okay, well, let's have a talk. So, first things first. I definitely don't need this attack FX badge any longer. So, I'm going to get rid of that. Especially because it's annoying. Um... Let's see, what else? 
What else can I? I already have shrink stop, so I don't need that. Okay, so let's get let's just get power rush then, because that is probably a good idea. Yes, indeed. All right, so if we ever go up, if we go up on BP again, which we'll probably do on the next level up, that is going to be a good idea. So I'm assuming Miss Mouse steals badges for that shop. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. This badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. Of that I'm much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that uh, to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Well, that is pretty darn simple when you put it that way. So... We need to freaking head on over to Petal Meadows then, like straight the heck away. So let's head back down into the sewers really quickly. Might as well get that done. Is there? I don't. I don't think there's anything I can do down there that I, now that I have Vivian in my party. Probably at all. Well, actually, there might be things I can roll under now that I think about it. So that might be worth checking. Okay. So hold on. Let's go this way, really, really quickly, and. I did not. That's the wrong button. This one. Freaking heck. Okay, there we go. There is a badge there. I wonder how I get to that. Oh, there's a bomb crack on the other side. I see it. I see it. All right, let's... Wait, actually, the pipe <laughs> <I> hesitated. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. All right, let's try that once more with feeling. Okay, come on now. There we go. Let's go this way. I am super excited, too, because... Actually, what? maybe I shouldn't be going this way. Hold on, never mind. This is wrong. Um, I know the next two chapters are like both awesome, and I'm super excited for it. They're both great, but at the, on the flip side, I'm also very scared that I'm going to get lost for a while. Okay, maybe I don't want to go this way. How about over here? Come back, little thing. No, do I do? No, maybe I don't want to do that either. Hold on, I am super lost. I apologize. I know every freaking time I jump into this game, I get way, you know, confused and not sure exactly where to go. Ah, yeah, freaking yeah. Let's do this. Is this the right one? Okay, that is the right one. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'll never like fully get the hang of this game. And, like, the locations you're supposed to go to. Okay, so... Head over this way real quick. We got over here. I think I think this pipe... One of these pipes just takes you straight to Petal Meadows. So I'd like to be able to do that. I don't know if it's the one on the right or the left, though. Let's find out. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah! Okay, sweet. So that was easy. So now, let's head on over to Hooktail's Castle. And also... Wow, look at that that I missed! I should have gotten the first time I was here. Holy crap, Mega Rush P. I mean, it is a partner badge. So that's why I wasn't really hurting to get it too badly. But at the same time, probably shouldn't be passing up very obvious things like that. Hello, sir. What? I am General White. I am a bomb, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I don't care what I do. I just want to help people. Is that so wrong? All right, well, I'm just going to leave that at that, and we're going to keep moving along. Just, just don't pay attention to it. Don't, don't think about it too hard. I like that's going to come into play a little bit later. But gosh, it feels good to be back here. It's been a little while, hasn't it? A few months. A few months since we were hanging out in the meadows of Petal. So close to the freaking second town. Third, I, second, third town from uh, Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. Gosh, dang it, Goomba. Get out of here, man. Why are there five of them? Oh, my goodness. Okay, if they actually gave me anything, I would even if they gave me like one, I would have done it, but... Like, if they each gave me one, excuse me. I know you get at least a minimum of one for every fight. I am aware of that. All right. Let's head on over. And uh, see what we got going on up at the top here. I wish there was a faster way to get here, but this is our quest for this episode. So I need to... It's, it's all very important. Okay, hold on a minute. I want to be, sh like, absolutely sure here, but can't you, like... Isn't there, like, something special you can get, like, if you go a certain way in here? Maybe not. Okay, no, I guess that's just the way back. Never mind. I almost made that, though. That would have been pretty crazy. All right. Hi, guys. How you doing? It's been it's been some time. I don't want to go that way because that's the way out. Get out of here. Play no. <laughs> you certainly tried. I'll, I'll give you that. That was definitely an A for effort. E for effort. A for... I, I, 
I don't freaking know. I've never, I've never like, I feel, I've heard that reference in two different ways. I've heard A for effort because obviously the grading scale, but then E for effort because it, E effort is E. I don't freaking know, man. The only time I ever remember like, how did you catch up to me? The only time I ever remember like an E grading scale was in like, like kindergarten, where the teacher was just like, E is excellent. And that's like the only grade you could ever get because you're in frickin' kindergarten. And it's not like they're going to give you like anything worse than that. Jeez, why would they ever? Do I need to still? Okay, I need to go up the slow way, don't I? Um, Gosh, I am so bad at this. Coops, come here. We actually need you for this. Welcome back to Creepy Steeple, buddy. It's been a long time. Just hang in there for a minute. Never mind. We're just going to leave then. This is not the way I need to go. Where the heck do I need to go? Is it over here? Maybe it is. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, there we go. I think this is correct. I think I'm doing this right. Gosh, it's already been so freaking long. I'm like super lost. Do I need to go all the way up? Maybe, possibly, potentially? Is there anything over here I, I missed? No? Okay, I got that the first time I was here. Good! I don't know. I have like no faith in my past self as much as I have no faith in my current self. <laughs> Uh, duh, 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 jump out the window. There we go. Because I'm really interested in what we're going to be finding once we actually get this. I want to know what this badge is, first of all. Hello there, sir. Why are you so fast? Are you you're going to come to life, too? Please don't come to life. Thank you. I right, just stay right there. Keep going up. My gosh, this place is so... Um, vertically challenged. Where the... Fr I don't even freaking remember. This way? I hope it's this way. Yeah, because I think to the left was the first room where we encountered Miss Mouse. So, over this... Hello there. The valiant effort, I guess. But also, don't ever do that again. Oh my gosh. Now, hey! Ugh. Gosh, you guys are annoying, aren't you? I, w I would deal with you, but I'm just not in the mood. Go away. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, frick. Oh, you're in such a bad spot. No, what? Ah, he's still... Oh, my gosh. Can you not? The problem has been dealt with, but can you not with the coins? I'm so sick of it. I am so tired of it. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, actually infuriating that that's, like, the only bonus I have, like, ever gotten out of this, except for a defense bonus once, when I couldn't even make use of it. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I think I can just do this, right? I'm pretty sure. No? What? Why? Really? How? Seriously, that didn't work? I thought I could just do that. Okay, can I try this again with feeling? Oh, no, but <sighs> I will be right back. All right, problem solved. My goodness. Frickin' heck, getting to the- I never knew that getting back to the top of Creepy Steeple was gonna be actually the worst thing ever. I can't believe this. I've wasted an entire episode doing this. But no, this is- this is part of the adventure, guys. This is part of it. That's why I'm not cutting this out. Because I believe that we all need to go through this together. If you don't care, then turn the video off! But also- <sighs> I was hoping I could dodge that. But I just- I couldn't. I'm, I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave now. Goodbye. Go away. Almost got a perfect, perfectly green bar. No, stop following. Stop following. Thank you. Okay, I don't need those coins. I uh, do need, though, to switch to Flurry now that we are very close. Because what we need to do, I think, is go, like, right into the middle of the room and use her power. And then we should be good to G. Oh, right? Oh, what? Why are you here? Oh my gosh, I can't believe he didn't get me. All right. Let's head up this way. And inside we go. He's still in here, Hooktail. Hello? Nope, there is no one in here. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Yeah, stop me in my tracks. What do we got? What kind of badge? Attack FXB? Really? That's all you wanted? Are you for reals? Is there anything else in here? No, there is not. Okay, then. Well, that was definitely worth it, I guess. I wonder what the actual sound effect is. Can I jump through that? Okay, that would have been awesome if I could just jump out the tower and fall to the bottom. 
Anything to like get through this. Okay, I'm not going to make you guys watch me go all the way back down, even though that's going to be significantly quicker. So I will see you all back in Rogueport in just a second. You know, imagine my stupidity that I actually walked all the way over here earlier, and then that was the pipe that I needed to go into, and then I decided to go, nope, that's not where I want to go. Took the long way around and went to the pipe that actually took me a lot longer to get to Hookdale's Castle. Wow, I'm a genius. I'm actually like... Like, seriously, you can't handle this level of IQ, guys. You seriously can't. I am on, I am on a, like, a, a brain spectrum that is just completely unfathomable by, by just normal puny peasants like yourselves. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking stupid. You gotta be kidding me, man. I, I feel so bad. And I, you know, I didn't have to show that, although I'm sure a bunch of you, like, saw me miss the pipe and just face palmed. So I had to, I had to own up to it. I had to. How could I not? We're here to laugh with me and at me. That's the point of this Let's Play. <laughs> okay, I have all these Let's Plays, actually. This is the point of this freaking channel. Jeez. I have lapses, okay? I can't help it. Hi, Miss Mouse. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that face. Does it mean you found the badge? Here you go. Well, this is certainly the badge that I was looking for. Oh, my, yes. Now, now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize, but I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge-finding skill than I do. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Oh, because <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now, about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to leave me to more. There we go. Now, let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. <gasps> we got a new partner? Oh, my heck. Yes, Miss Mouse joined your party. All right, let's get that primer. I'm ready. Press X and Miss Mouse will sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. How useful. Doesn't seem to be anything in the area, dearie. When you press X, I'll sniff around and tell you if there are any items nearby. Yes, yes, yes. There's something right here. Well, okay, I knew that. Because there's a chest, obviously. In battle, I can attack enemies with my love slap. I can also help you out by using my kiss thief move to steal enemies' items. That is very useful. I hope that works on badges, actually. We solved the trouble. All right, so we got all of those things done. That is sweet. So now we have Mrs. M uh, Miss Mouse as our partner. We're definitely going to have to put that to use in the coming episodes because, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I kind of wanted to just keep that particular part self -contained. I mean, okay, so here's my, here's my conundrum. I kind of do want to power up Miss Mouse with the three shine sprites that I have. The problem is, is that the next partner we're getting is like the second best partner in the entire game. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Maybe, maybe we'll save it for later. She'll definitely be the one I power up after that partner, though. But for now, we're going to call it quits, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.